Hello, welcome to another fight review. This is Devin Alexander vs Amir Khan. So, Devin Alexander and Amir Khan squared off last night in Las Vegas for the WBC Super Welterweight title. Going to the fight, uh, I had literally um, no clue who was going to be the fight in terms of it could have been 50 50. Devin Alexander could have won the fight, or Amir Khan could have won the fight. And they were both at the same stage of their careers. Uh, both had really good um, periods in, the, in both of their careers, winning world titles. Devin Alexander. From a WBC and IBF like welterweight champion, and also IBF welterweight champion, and the Mir Khan former WBA and IBF like welterweight champion, both kind of um, uh, losses a few years back. Most notably for Devin Alexander, most recently losing his IBF title to Sean Paul, who lost, who this year lost it to Kel Brook. So the IBF belt has kind of gone around a few uh, people uh, quite quickly. So. When this fight got announced, I was quite happy because um, previously I did uh, did a, do a review a few months back on Amir Khan, possible opponents, and Devin Alexander was one of them, and also Robert Gray was another. But Robert Gray got dominated by Floyd Mayweather last year, and he's only had one fight since. Whereas Devin Alexander has been more active and has had a better um, range of opponents compared to Guerrero. Um, so when the fight came, uh, uh, when it actually came into the actual fight, uh, both coming at the water with a limit of 147 pounds. Uh, I was really impressed with Mir Khan. Probably one of his best performances to date. He thoroughly, do he thoroughly dominated Devin Alexander from start to finish. Um, in my book, he probably lost maybe the one of the I think it's the ninth or tenth round, maybe one of the middle rounds. Um, depends obviously how 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 you view it. Um, the quality of the video I watched it on wasn't amazing, so there was parts of it where. It was quite blurry. Make him throw a punch, and he wouldn't catch out, catch the whole frame per second. So like, he wouldn't really connect properly, and it would like jump to another point. But I saw most of it clearly, and I was really impressed. Like I said, Amir Khan with his movement. Yeah, he was quite defensive, but his new style of Amir Khan, whereas people are familiar with him previously, when he worked with Freddie Roach, he was all quite attack. Defense was lacking. Whereas now, with Virgil Hunter. His defence has improved dramatically. Yeah, he gets caught with the odd shot here and there, but uh, no one's perfect, obviously. And his defence has improved really, really well. He thinks about it more, and it shows because in this fight, Devin Alexander is not an easy opponent to deal with. He's only lost to quality opposition, and he's beaten the likes of Marcus Madonna as well and uh, Sosa Karras last year or this year, sorry. So he's no um, easy opponent, and the maker made him look like a novice. So I was really impressed with that. For Devin Alexander's part, I was quite disappointed because I did think he's a high-level, world-class operator and I was really disappointed. But I've seen Devin Alexander fight before and he's a bit... He's, slow, he's, quite, he's a quite slow starter, um, more of a counter-puncher. He's not the sort of person where he'll like have to go and chase a fight. That's why. Um, that's what he did, in my view, in this uh, Mir Khan fight. He had to go and chase it, Mir Khan, because Mir Khan was always moving. That's the sort of boxer Mir Khan is. And I don't think Alexander really had a game plan for that adaption, which is, um, if that's even the word. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't think Devin Alexander had a plan to really adjust to Mir Khan's movement. So that's why I, I thought I wasn't impressed with Alexander. Um, he was a little hurt because Amir Khan didn't throw enough hard punches and he did catch Khan a few times but overall uh, Devin Alexander could have done a lot more better, this is a big fight for him, like I said both at the same points of the career um, kind of and with this fight it could elevate them to a possible world title fight or one of the bigger names in the world title division. So Amir Khan got, got an unanimous decision uh, quite comfortably um, which uh, which obviously was good to see and um, he does now he can move on to um, bigger fights. Of course, he mentioned Floyd Mayweather quite frequently in, in the post-interview and the post-press conference uh, with Oscar Lahaya weighing in his thoughts as well. Uh, personally, I don't think he's going to fight Mayweather because uh, I know I've said this many times before and uh, recently Floyd Mayweather did quite many Pacquiao and I think today Pacquiao has replied back with some sort of response. Um, if that's going to be happening, that's few and far between. I said before on many different videos, I don't see that happening. There's so much to get done to make that May 2nd fight, which is when Maver's fighting. Um, I think Maver will fight someone not as uh, dangerous. I'm not saying Amir Khan is like a, uh, he's a dangerous fighter, but he doesn't, he won't beat Flo Maver. Um, and even if he did get the fight, 
it would be interesting because Amir Khan always brings uh, excitement to the ring. But many of us have seen this sort of opponent before, and uh, he just gets dominated, so I don't see why Mayweather should pick him. But at the same time, Mayweather is running out of uh, opponents. I mean, there's only Amir Khan, uh, Manny Pacquiao, Amigo Koto, Kano Alvarez, but they're scheduled to fight next year, Koto and Alvarez, I think. So he could fight uh, Golovkin, but then that's two eight divisions above him. Um, Keith Thurman only fought on the, under, uh, the event before Amir Khan, but looked really disappointing in his fight. There's a, there's a few people, but he's running out of options, and he has, he's only got, I think, the two fights left in his current contract, so who knows. But Amir Khan um, hasn't done himself any harm with this performance. So for Alexander, uh, obviously he has to go back to the drawing board. Um, it's a shame, obviously, he couldn't beat Amir Khan because that would have got him back into the World Title Challenge. But he could have a rematch with Sean Porter, and that would be an interesting fight, a good rematch. He could fight um, Kel Brook, uh, IBF champion, if he's got a high ranking, I think he's a uh, number three ranking. So who knows, Kel Brook could fight him, that would be an interesting fight. So he's got a few options, but it's a missed opportunity on his part, and obviously he does know that. But uh, well done to Amir Khan, great performance, and uh, fully deserved. So this has been my Amir Khan, Devin Alexander Fight Review. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.